Was there any talk at the time of doing a sequel or did it ever come up? Not come up? Yes. Oh my God. It, yes. Endlessly came up. Boy, we wanted to. We wanted to make a hard R sequel. We wanted to, we, oh God, yeah. I mean, I think we'd probably make it tomorrow. I mean, it, yes, we tried a, a lot of different ways to find, um, it was always to, to the studios who made it, which were Village Roadshow and um, Warner Brothers. It was always a little bit of a feathered fish. Um, it's oddness, the thing that you're talking about, which I do think is one of the most lovely things about the film, the way it is equally comfortable in a character scene between Keanu and Rachel as it is with demons flying, hurling themselves at a man who's going to light his fist on fire and, and expel them. Um, is odd, right? It's not really action packed. It just has a bunch of action. This movie isn't exactly a thing. It's kind of a few things, which is, I think, what's beautiful about it. But those seem to get harder and harder to make. Uh, and even then, uh, I think much as we wanted to, and we've talked about it and we've had ideas and, and I would love that one of like, he wakes up in a cell, he has to identify the prisoner that Frank's idea, remember, and it was Jesus. And then he, <laughs> I think he comes up, you think it's Beirut, he's in New York. I mean, you know, there, there were, yeah, yeah, we, we yeah. Just, yeah, we talked about yeah, it. We would definitely, I mean, but I, I will say that, you know, we, we, we definitely talked about sequels, I think more than the studio um, because, you know, the movie did fairly well. And this was also still a time when people sold DVDs. So I think it did decently um, at the time but it wasn't a knockout success and it also wasn't really sort of critically acclaimed by any means at the time. I mean, the kind of cool thing for me about this movie is just, you know, in the 15 years since it released, every time I do a movie and I go out and travel the world and do junkets, I am signing Constantine D DVDs more than any other movie that I've done. I mean, over the years, different countries and people really, really love this movie. Um, and I think that it's, it's like found a sort of a new, a new life in a weird way. I mean, I even see articles where people, you know, even like Rotten Tomatoes posted an article about, you know, apologizing to Constantine for, you know, the Rotten Tomato count that it had it just, and, and I think people have sort of discovered it recently, weirdly. Um, it's, it's always kind of had its kind of cult fan base, which has been great, but I think people have sort of discovered it in a new way. So I think we always loved it more than the studio loved it. 